Hello, I'm Cassandra Elphinstone, a PhD candidate in the Department of Botany at UBC uh, and co-PI on a warming experiment that we're doing uh, here in Garibaldi Park. Hi, I'm Courtney Collins. I'm a postdoc in the Biodiversity Research Center at UBC and I'm also co-PI on the warming experiment at Garibaldi Park. So we're here setting up these warming chambers in Garibaldi Park and they are part of a system that the International Tundra Experiment, which is a group of researchers around the Arctic studying the effects of climate change on tundra plant communities, uh, use to uh, look at what increased warming does to alpine and subalpine plants. Yeah, and so we're setting up an ITEX experimental site here uh, in the park and we are looking at the effects of climate change on these alpine tundra plant species. Yeah, so when I first arrived in BC to start my postdoctoral work, I was looking for a field site to start doing some alpine field research and I reached out to Cassandra uh, who is really familiar with the outdoor spaces in BC and she said there isn't a lot of alpine field work happening in southern BC on alpine plants. And so we really thought we had a great opportunity to maybe get a site set up here. So last summer we set up three small sites um, with some very bare minimum research funding uh, from Courtney. And then we learned about the BC Parks Living Labs grant and applied for that and we're very lucky to get it, so that funded uh, the opportunity to set up these open top warming chambers. Yeah, and so we're really grateful to the Living Labs Climate Change Program from BC Parks and um, we're hoping to keep this study going long term. And so this research is really important because as we know, climate is really rapidly changing our planet. And uh, in particular, in alpine and arctic tundra is warming. These areas are warming faster than any areas of the planet. But not all species are going to respond the same. And so we really need to know which species are most vulnerable to these temperature changes so that we can correctly uh, protect them in places like Garibaldi Park, which are experiencing increased uh, pressure from recreation and other land use. And this is an interesting experiment because there isn't really a similar one in a, the ecosystem here along the coastal mountains. And so this has like a very deep snowpack and is different from uh, a lot of the other ITEC sites that are around. Um, but then similar in the sense that some of the plant communities are um, comparable. So 